This video shows you how to use Keysight E5262A to add as a current source. So here I have two SMU, SMU1 and SMU2. Uh, what you can do is now uh, start the EC Expert and then I will just find a template, any template. I click on this classic test, I just click on IV so it can help me to have the initial setup. So I'm going to call the first SMU uh, it, it will be a current source and it has a variable I'm going to sweep it and then you see that I also connect it to the uh, SMU2 so here I choose SMU2 and I can uh, choose it as voltage I'm also going to call it as variable 2 so that I can make this as a constant voltage for the SMU2 I'm going to make it as zero so I will only have one sweep right so from here then it will only uh, always stay at zero volt and here i'm going to sweep it from zero ampere for the smu1 to 100 micro ampere at the step of one micro ampere comprise is one volt so that it won't keep going if uh, it is larger than one volt and i go to the display i will choose uh, x right i want to plot the current when it is sweeping and then I want to add one more, I click on add and here I'm going to plot the V1, I want to see what voltage it is as the Y axis, okay? And then I can just click on this uh, green arrow and it should run, right? So there's a problem, you see that when it try to uh, source the current, it hits one volt very soon because it is open. Right. So what I'm going to do now is actually I already put a 10k ohm resistor here but the contact is not good so I'm going to uh, press it a little bit to make sure it has a good contact and hopefully now uh, it will work. Still doesn't work because of the contact. Now that when the contact is good, you see that it becomes a straight line, right? When the current is 0 ampere, the voltage is 0 ampere. And when the current is 100 micro ampere, the voltage is about 1 volt, which is correct because our uh, resistor is uh, 10 kilo ohm. This is one way. Another way to do this is instead of connecting to the SMU2, I'm going to move this one to the common ground. So. Here I put it here, then this one can be uh, in common voltage as other equipment. And um, in order to use this common ground, then I need to go back to channel and I'm going to choose ground, okay? And this of course is going to be uh, a constant and it is common, okay? So everything else is the same. Uh, in this display, I still uh, plot the voltage. Okay, so now I'm going to try again to uh, connect it. And then I'm going to click the green button again. And you can see that the output is this, right? So I told you click the green green button again. Okay. Yeah. So that is another method. 